In this video, we're going to replace the front uh, brake rotors and also the brake pads. All right, so for the order for the, um, the brake parts, I ordered these through 500 yen shop um, because that seemed to be the best value. Um, it still worked out roughly 400 Australian dollars for the brake rotors, the disc or the and the pads and shipping from Japan to Australia. So it does cost a little bit more than trying to source things locally um, because of the shipping. Um, they're not um, obviously doing Subaru brand because I believe they're probably discount um, the parts. So they're just some um, generic brands. All right, so the first thing we need to do is just um, remove the wheel. All right, so let's start by just getting the caliper off. Um, just, we could probably get the pad the pads out. Caliper has to come off because we've taken the rotor off. Um, so down the bottom there's this little pin. We'll just take that out and put that somewhere safe. Okay, that's out. All right, so we should just be able to get the um, pads out. We might need to compress the cylinder a bit, um, work it in a bit just to loosen these pads up. Okay, all right, they're out. Uh, what I need to do is um, get this whole caliper off. I don't believe you undo these two. It's, there's a couple of bolts at the back there. But they're a 19 millimeter. Okay, so there's this, this piece is what the bolts sort of screw, um, go into first. Um, that sort of slopes away towards the back of the car, but inwards. All right, so the caliper will come off now. I'll need to compress that piston back in, um, but just for now, I just need to support it. We'll just hang it and hook it up. just so it's um, out of the way for now. And next we need to work on getting this uh, rotor off. Okay, so what you're meant to be able to do is just get a couple of bolts into these holes and that will sort of help drive the um, rotor off there. I'm not sure if these are the correct size, but there's a lot of um, rust inside those holes. So they're M8 bolts. Try and just do them evenly. Oh, 
what I'll do, just so the whole thing doesn't just um, flick and hit me in the face, I'll just put these couple of studs back on, or nuts on these studs, just in case anything happens. Oh, I can see it moving now, it's just moving slowly on its own now. Yep, there we go, now it's loose. Alright, I'll take out these bolts. Alright, so you might be able to see the reason why I'm changing this. Um, the actual disc uh, face here, it's worn down quite a bit, so you've got, you got the edge there, at least a few millimetres in. Um, and the pads themselves there, like literally on their last legs, they're just way too thin. Um, the thickness of that, I reckon that's worn way too much to be able to machine it. So best option was just to get new rotors. You can see um, this side too, it's worn right down. Alright, so I might just get a wire brush and just um, clean this up a bit. Okay, so the next thing I need to do now is use a compressor to get that piston to move back in. So now we're starting to move back in. I will need to open up the um, the brake fluid filler and I may need to take out some brake fluid. So I'll just do this a bit at a time. All right, so now we're up to the fun part of fitting the um, new parts. So the new rotor comes wrapped in plastic and then again in paper. Um, it's most likely um, coated in oil actually it probably hasn't got anything on there but we've I've got some actually looks pretty good they actually paint this piece here all right so we will I'll give them just the, the pad surface as a clean down um, just with some brake cleaner I'll do that now and then I'll try and avoid touching those parts. Perfect fit. All right, so what I can do now is get this caliper bolted on. Um, and then get the pads fitted. I can still push that piston in a bit more if I need to. Let's just get it on. When we put it on, I'll put some lubricant on the bolts. The, the brand on those rotors is um, Takiko. I'll just see if there's a part number. There is a um, part 
number on there, if you can see that. Uh, the pads are a different brand as well. Um, let's see if there's a part number somewhere. I'll just bring that a bit close. So these are our sided, so um, right hand, that says on there, that one says right hand, so we'll just need to switch them over. And the other pair say left hand. Alright, so yeah, all, all I need to do is just pull it forward more, like that, and then it should fit in. Uh, I've touched that, so I will um, clean it up with a bit of brake cleaner. So the outer side, the notch goes up. I may need to compress that caliper a little bit more. Clean that one off, it's got a lot of dust on it. Now the way it's meant to work, that piece up here rests on the edge here and then when that happens there's enough um, tension just to hold that bottom end in. So that's how it should pretty much go in like that, Sl slide it up and then it just sits there like that. That rests on top of there. Um, the other thing I need to do is just torque these up a bit tighter. I couldn't find the actual setting. but. Um, I'm just going to get them pretty tight and I can always check them again at a later date. Alright what I might do is just get started on the other side. Okay so that seems okay I just need to get the wheel back on. Okay, that's all done. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos.